Grace Kitchens presents Creative Cooking, highlighting popular dishes that are part of our traditional Jamaican culture. Here now is today's host. Welcome to the Creative Cooking Show. If the sight of this old cannon tells you we are on the road at a historical location, you're quite right. We're at Seville Great House, courtesy of the Jamaican National Heritage Trust. With me are Normalene Hall and Maisie English. Ladies, welcome to Creative Cooking. Thank you for having us and welcome to St. Anne. Thank you. Now you're both from the Brownstone Community College and there is so much to hear about Brownstone. I'll start with Mrs. Hall. The college was established in 1975 by an Act of Parliament and today it boasts three campuses. The main campus is located in Brownstone. The technical campus is located in Discovery Bay and offers programs in construction, engineering, and computer studies. There's also a nursing campus pretty close to this site here in St. Anne's Bay. And that, site, that campus offers programs in nursing. So all three campuses are in St. Anne? All three campuses are located right here in St. Anne. Maisie, tell us what you do at the Brownstone Community College. I am a lecturer in the Tourism and Hospitality Department along with Norma Lynn being an excellent team member. Mm -hmm. And today I will be demonstrating the making of gingerbread. An old favorite. An old favorite. In here I have my butter and to this I will be adding the honey and I must ensure that I get out all of my honey from my container because we must use the accurate measurement and moreover honey is very expensive so we cannot afford to waste it. I am now going to cream my butter and honey together. I am sure most of us were not aware that honey and butter could be creamed. We are so accustomed to creaming butter and sugar. Now this gingerbread is being made by the quick bread method of creaming. When we say quick bread, we are talking about an easy method. Now ginger is a very versatile product and it is used in almost all cuisines of the world. At Christmas time as Jamaicans, if we are not drinking the old Jamaican ginger beer, then we are not having Christmas. Ginger is also used in a lot of the confections, such as the good old pink on top. Ginger can also be used in tea. I don't know how many of you knew that. So I'm going to be adding the egg and continue creaming. Now we have our mixture being well creamed. I'm going to go on to the next step and I have my flour and to my flour I'm going to be adding the cinnamon I'm also going to be adding the baking soda salt nutmeg which is very important in our baking and the good old ginger because we are making gingerbread so I am mixing all of this. I'm also going to be adding my raisin, which was chopped. And my reason for adding the raisin is because the raisin was not soaked. And when we use the dry raisin, because it's going to absorb the moisture in the product, what we find happening is that it becomes, it might sink to the bottom. So in order to prevent that from happening, I mix it with the flour. I'm also going to be adding some peanut, which is optional. Then I am going to be adding three quarter cups water to my honey. And I'm going to mix this together. I have to ensure that the honey is properly mixed. Now what happens is that the hot water will help the honey to melt quickly. What is going to happen, I'm now going to add my dry ingredients and liquid ingredients in portion using my mixer. So I'm going to be adding portions of the flour. 
and ensure that it is properly mixed. It being properly mixed, I'm going to be adding some of my liquid with the mixer running. Sometimes on a Sunday afternoon, when you might be having friends over and you don't know exactly what to give them, you could try this good old Jamaican recipe. My mixture is well mixed. I am now going to be pouring it into my greased loaf pan. Now that the mixture is in, I must ensure that it is level because we want a product that is eye appealing. I am now going to put the gingerbread into the oven and this is baked at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Hi Maisie. Hello Carly. What a lot of information. Oh, that yes. was really a class in, in session. Thank you very much. And you know the gingerbread seems to be pretty easy. Yes it, it is. It took some time but the steps yes. are I think quite they're simple. quite simple. Quite. And let's look at the texture. It's so soft. Yes, because of the baking soda that and is the in honey, there sure. and the honey. And the fact that it was done by the creaming method. Oh, okay. that made helped. it light. Yes, it helps to make it Now, nice. gingerbread can be used as a great dessert idea. Yes, it can be. And also, I see you have one locked up. Tell us about that one. Well, for those of us who would like to give gifts, mm -hmm. We could present this on Mother's Day, a very good idea for Mother's Day, mm -hmm. or for the person who wants to be given the pastor or the teacher a gift, especially on Teacher's Day and you don't have the money to buy same, you could make a nice gingerbread Amazing. and package it and I send it I must off. thank you for coming and sharing this great idea with us. Thank you very much for having me. Today, from the mailbox goes to life. Our question comes from one of our students. Hello. Hello. What's your name? I'm Diana Chiotano. And what question do you have for me today? I'm a novice at baking. I would like to know what to do. That's easy. First of all, you start with a very simple recipe. A recipe that has about five or six ingredients. But today I suggest that you start with a cupcake. First, follow the directions. Make sure your quantities are correct. After you have put all the ingredients together, ensure that your pan is greased properly. And last but not least, ensure that your oven is at the correct temperature. Now, if you follow all these instructions, you're on your way to making a most watering cupcake. Good luck. Okay, thank you. That's it for today's show. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Grace Kitchens invites you to watch Creative Cooking. This Creative Cooking series features traditional Jamaican dishes that are part of our Jamaican culture. And we invite you to join us every Monday morning at 7.35 on Smile Jamaica It's Morning Time for Creative Cooking.